Ew. He's not. Screw you, Andy. You know what Andy was doing when we were here? At work? Probably. He was sleeping. Oh, okay. That's all right. Because you know. The game is paused, by the way. Don't worry, you're not missing anything. But uh, we're, we're going to be good to go. OG versus NLG. NLG. Did all right in the first game. Yeah, so we talked about Slipped the draft. Up a bit. Who, who's, whose draft do you like? Though? You want to hear my opinion? Yeah. I'm 3K, I mean, mate. I don't think matter. my like, opinion matters. Do you like here. AA as a hero? Like, do you, like, I just want to know your thoughts. I think, looking at this one, the AA is a nice one, but it's not nice enough. Okay. And that's why. Do you like fiery girls? Stick to the hype. Fiery girls? Fiery girls. Yeah, throw a bit of napalm on them, light them up with a match. It's a good bit of a laugh. Great in the bedroom. Okay. Okay. Damn, man. Make that sure, got, make sure, that got dark pretty quickly. <laughs> make sure they're shaved, otherwise it could get a bit messy. But All anyway, right. ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game two, NLG versus OG. Here we go. OG, of course, looking at what they were looking a bit rocky in the early stages of the first game. I'll see if they come into this one a little bit harder. As we can see, Bond Lane fly giving Mitch the old whippity do. Oh, one minute's in. Well, one minute before it even kicks off. Look at me. I mean, OG said we've, we've heard what you said on the panel. Anything you you feel that you need to say that you've missed out on, David? Nah, man. Excalibur okay. just got a coming. first blood. And it will be okay. Gucci. Actually, the uh, the slap of the dude that Dazzle gave was pretty big deal. Yeah, it was. The Lich TP down looking to drop that early wards. And he needs to drop the early wards because this Dazzle is going to pull to his, uh, well, to whenever he wants to pull. Well, I mean, look at this uh, Moon on the slider. He's just chilling there in the dire jungle. Actually, Moon, remember the last game, the river fight? He got sprint and not crush. And I honestly think that crush would have been much better in that. 1v1 fighting situation. He's gone back for the same bill here. Oh, well, I don't think they'll be able to do anything with this. Just getting the hits in. Forcing Moon back. Miracle. And we'll see who does take this top rune here. It looks like NRG. Yeah, they're gonna they don't want to fight this really. They're gonna send the SF down towards the bottom, but well, no tail the way both. I think yeah, they're not gonna be able to get her in time and OG. They'll take themselves both the runes. Miracle takes the top. No tail takes the bottom. I know G will be very happy with the way that that one started out. So last time we saw uh, a mid being harassed bound by a Winter Wyvern. So in this case, we're going to see that same situation here. Lena already a strong lane dominator early on. And you're going to see Crit just blowing that Arctic Burn onto Excalibur. I already don't like how the game's starting for NLG. Okay. Well, we'll see how the mid lane goes in terms of CS. The Telekinesis just dragging back the Wyvern, but... He's still there with the Arctic Burn Harass. Gets a couple of touches on Spartan and Excalibur. And yeah, as we can see already, this is not going to be a fun lane for NLG. Yeah, and once... I mean, it's all about the race to the bottle when you're up against Alina. So every last that matters. On top of that, you're Shadow Fiend. You need damage. All right, Excalibur needs to uh, dig into his inner Yafits, get some last hits, and uh, go to work. On top lane, we've got Slada. Just being aggressive as he always is, Moon. Let's just force him back Milan. And, oh, well, oh, yeah. Just taking the hits here from Milan. Backing up. I, I mean, think he wanted to block the creeps from spawning or something like that. Uh oh. Oh. He might have overstayed as well. Come here, because Moon, well, they've got the chilling touch. He's done. He's, he's a goner. That's your first blood there. Moon's over aggressiveness, uh, getting punished by NLG very nicely. Yeah, last game he had the help of Fly on this top lane to, you know harass and whatnot. This game, I don't think you can play nearly as aggressive, especially when there's a chilling touch on AA. Does a ton of damage. No. Oh, mid. Uh, the light strike just catching his spot on the tip. He's got a telekinesis. It's not going to save him. They drag oh, back Belina. No. Eleven's there with the finish up on the Wyvern. And back down bottom. All right, so Mitch wandering in, seeing if he could disrupt the pull through of Fly, but Fly's already got it going. And this is giving, of course, a lot of space for No-Tail on the Juggernaut down bottom, just having a Lich hanging around here. There's only so much he can do on his own down on the bottom lane for NLG. Moon is continuing to block this camp that is uh, un yeah, that has a creep in it. Obviously, he does not know that. Mid so. lane? He's got... Oh, that's a kill, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my miracle. This lane is done. Yeah. 10 for 3 on the Lina. 4 for 0 on the Shadow Fiend. We did see in the last game Steve have a tough time at the beginning, and he did come back very nicely. Shadow Fiend is a comeback hero. He certainly is in terms of the flash farm, if they get the stacks going. But the way that Steve came back last game was yeah. he got a gank and he got a, like a Laguna Blade killed. Shadow Fiend not exactly as good uh, as a Lina when it comes down to uh, you know, bursting the enemy hero down. In mid lane, there's going to be a wraparound and Steve could be in trouble again. Miracle moving forward. 
Uh, he's going to turn for the easier kill here. Top lane, AA did find the one onto Moon. Okay. And uh, Excalibur's going to be able to salve up. To me, it's actually more important to shut down Moon than uh, Miracle. Miracle's going to get his farm regardless. Selena, you know, one of the be better farming hero mid. But if you could delay that Blink Dagger for as long as you can, I think that's where OG will have trouble taking those mid game fights. I see Miracle just moving forward there. We're seeing if he could get something off onto Excalibur. And yeah, Excalibur's got to be so scared when uh, when that six comes through on Lena, which is almost certainly going to come out fairly shortly, as he's always already, already working his way through the level five. And Excalibur still sitting on level four. Yep. So uh, interesting adjustment here, as uh, we do see Mitch running into crit. Looks like the two icy heroes going to trade hits. Crit, of course, does have the Arctic Burn to fly away. Is Dragonite actually uh, putting more points into his healing ward? Obviously, he... Oh, oh crit. He needs to be careful. Okay, he's got the he's heals, fine. yeah. Flies there to back him up. Yeah, so Juggernaut maxing the healing ward, and he's going to use it right now to push. This is some very oh. aggressive play. <laughs> he's trying to juke out the raises. Excalibur finds one. Dyer's Miracle jukes. Oh, okay, okay. Tank, and these Mirks are in a lot of trouble. Courier! Oh, do, 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 do. Can he do it? He can! Okay. He gets the kill onto Excalibur for before he goes down. Bottom lane, that's a All lot right. of pressure on that tower. The healing ward, keeping the creep wave alive, and that's something that A-Mother touched on. Yeah, sure, you could sap away my experience, but I'm going to take her T1 tower. And more importantly, crit and fly doing an excellent job zoning the Lich away from experience range. T1's going to go down. Yeah, now we have it. So 3-3 three, three at the moment. OG exerting a little bit more pressure than, than what NLG are able to do at this point. And getting a f good bit of farm on Hotel as well. 25 CS. 27 on the Ember Spirit. So still a comparable amount here for NLG's I don't think they're stopping here. They're, they're going to go for a second tier too, yeah. I mean, what, what's NLG's answer at this point of the game with their draft? Do they have the tools to stop this? And, and I guess the answer is no. When you look at the lineup, pushing against a, a, a lineup with an AA, I mean, they're relying on having that level six, and it's certainly not going to be there five minutes into the game. So this is the time for OG to push and take these towers. You have a Rubik rotating, trying to backstab. I don't know about this one. Uh, Spartan. Oh. Ah, TP's coming in as well from the Ember Spirit. It can be very active at this point again, but he's, he's not got the mana. He's got a Mango, though. They'll get the Blade Fury out, no tell. Okay, Trying to do what he, can. he just Ember, died. Yeah, he gets blown up by the Heal Bomb, and he was kind of the saving grace there because he had a Mango and he had change potential. No tell takes the kill onto Spartan. No tell trying to chew this one out. Mitch, if he gets the vision, he will get the kill. Uh, okay, oh. Jigarinos. Hey, no tail. Oh, okay, hey. the play. Oh, no it's so tail. real. Oh, and are they going to get the kill on Mitch? Oh, they are going to get no. the kill on Mitch. No Tails no running tail. away to the enemy jungle. There's a creep wave onto him. All right, okay, looks like a, a, a Laguna from Miracle finished off Spartan. Cold Embrace won't save, a, save crit, though, the race to go through, but... No Tails jungling. Oh, no, he's going to suicide. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, he spent all his gold. All right. <laughs> classic No Tail, that. Well, I don't know if it's a classic No Tail. I think if Jimmy did this, it would if be... If that uh, was, yeah. He was channeling his, uh, his demon inside him. Yeah. All right, so All right, uh, early so game has not been good for an LG, to say the least. The, the only good thing they have is that uh, Lich has done much better than Moon. But because of, well, Moon on the top lane, though, might be a little bit of trouble. Crush will hit, yeah, and then rotations are coming in. And he's not level 6 yet. This is a key time to kill Madara. Miracle gets the stun off, but Spartan was there. And he's not looking for 20 seconds. And Miracle will get forced back. Excalibur, bombing. A little bit of a risky position, but Miracle's not going to look for him. He's just going to let's return back to the mid. But yeah, as you said, seven for four. The farm still good on the Amber. Did Dyer's kind of hurt attack. him that he turned up to that bottom lane, got blown straight away by the heal bomb. Maybe if he could have found a kill, he would have... Oh, oh you, he's, got, he's got the remnants, but the slow is coming out very slowly. Yeah, he's going to be fine here. They won't look to quite chase him down. That oh, looks like Jesus. Level 6 on AA, Ice Blast flying in mid here. Maybe the Razors will do some work. There's a Telekinesis ah, here. Miracle's going to get blown up. They get one kill. Looking for a second fly. There's a Grave, but uh, he's just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, there's no backup here as well. So they'll let the Dazzle go. Double kill for Excalibur. We talked about how he turned it around, Dyer's having a bit of a, you know, a bad start in the game one. And getting a double kill on him certainly going to help him in game two. OG, they are going to look for the tier one top. And they should be able to take it. Doesn't look like NLG have an answer for that one. So still OG with the superior push, but NLG in terms of getting the pickoffs are certainly keeping themselves in this game. Yeah. And of course, uh, as Mitch levels up on that Lich, he's going to get more Frost Armor, making these you know, Tier 2 somewhat more difficult to push in. So I think NLG recovering slightly okay now, given that Shadowfin just picked up the two kills. 
Madara though, still very worrisome. He's uh, very poor. Alright, Scalabaz, you know, he's looking for the treads. Ice Blast. Oh, God bless this Wyvern. Angry. They're going for it. Yeah. No way he gets out of this one. Oh. Uh, Spartan? Oh. Uh, okay. All right, Rubik. Maybe didn't need to be there. But uh, he's, he's not worth. He got the kill with a Fade Bolt. <laughs> he was happy with that one. Mid lane, T1 push here from OG. Just exerting a, a ton of pressure all over the map. Very similar to what we saw NLG doing last game. Yeah, it is. It is. They've kind of switched it around on their heads. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. Although I don't think uh, OG would make those type of mistakes, so that's uh, something that NLG cannot count on. Top lane, Milan. It's okay. Nah, it's all good. So, so far this A has been extremely impressive, right? The Ice Blast have been on point. I don't think we've seen a bad Ice Blast yet. Each time they've been uh, been there finding the kills. I mean, which is what we're talking about, which was, you know, when we saw the first two tier... Uh, well, the tier two attempts on the bottom lane. They need these Ice Blasts. And now that they've got them... It's certainly uh -oh. proving to be a bit more difficult for the side of OG to push. They're going to crush onto Excalibur. They have got backup coming in in the form of Dazzle. Uh, they okay. might need a bit more than that. Okay. okay. That's a solo kill. And in fact, yeah, they might is. get a little bit more. They're going to try and chase down Fly. Fly couldn't quite get the Shallow Grave off in time there. I believe he just didn't have the range. All right. Drums coming out here for Lina. Not something that we ex normally expect because Yules is generally the first item of choice. I mean, I guess with the drums, it just shows that OG want to go now. They want to fight. They want to push these towers. And really force the issue against NLG in no tail. He's on his own here. He has got the Omni. It's worth mentioning that NLG is so nuke-based that getting any extra HP like the Bracer would help out quite a bit. No tail. He's been sneaky. Closing in. I'll finish off these creeps here. Take the stack. Spartan just wants his level 6, man. He's just yeah, waiting he's so for close it. as well. Yeah. It is very dangerous to fight into NLG now, given the fact that there's Ice Blast and Chain Frost. So, OG uh, are doing well early, but got to be Dyer's respecting the enemy here a bit. From bottom lane, Remnant, four from Adara. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh, indeed. Matter up, matter up. Oh, can he get it? He does get it. Oh, can he get No, he does get himself out. So Laguna Blade was there. At the same time, top lane, Ice Blast onto No Tail. Then he gets the crush onto Mitch. And Telekinesis bring him out, fly. No tail looks to be the sacrificial lamb here. They'll find the jug kill. We'll see if they can get anything else here. Telekinesis in 10 seconds, and they're gonna try to slow him down. Can we get a Nova Blast? There we go, and that should be the other kill. Spartan trying his best to get that level six. Looks like oh, he does pick it up here. And this is big for Excalibur. He's finding himself a lot of positive action. Kill after kill on the Shadow Fiend. He's what, seven kills? He did die the two times, but that was at the start of it all. So he's really got, coming back into this oh, game. Oh, he's got seven kills. Yeah. That's impressive. All right. Never count on Steve. Absolutely. NLG has been showing us a good fight across the entirety of this series. And it doesn't look to stop anytime soon. 11 for 10. They may have lost some early towers, but they're regaining control. Dyer's middle and Miracle now with the VIP booster. I guess he's going to be just looking to try and get the Bloodstone next and... and Skipping the Yules unless it's a casual VIP boost. Oh, oh, Excalibur. Ah, and gets the damage out onto Moon, and now Moon gets the crush, but okay. there's a slow from Lich, and Moon overstays his welcome. Monster kill streak right. for Steve. All right. Steve really stepping up his game. Yeah, I'm not sure about the VIP booster on the Lina. Could be a Rod of Atos? Yeah. Question mark? Is it? I mean, in terms of setting up your LSA, it's... Radiance bottom tower. I get the thing it. is, it Yules, Yules is so good against Ember. You, you take away his uh, Flame Guard instantaneously. There's no reason not to get it. It's such a standard item build. It gives you more mana regen to farm. I, we got to ask Miracle what he was thinking when he uh, he's trying to do this build. Yeah, we'll see what he does with it. Hey, if they win this game, maybe we'll get a winner's interview with them. Miracle, he's looking for the setup. Will he be able to find it? Comes out for the knife. He gets this done. That's a kill. That's a kill. That's a kill. That's a kill. All right. Just had the damage. Only just, it's though. The humiliation. Very, very close. And not in the jungle at the same time. No tail, just aggressively farming. The pings have come out. They've got to die water, so they know the shenanigans that no tail's up to, and they'll try and leap forward. Continue to shake no tail. He knows he can't really TP now because there is a Chain Frost. He continues to get these slows out, but the Healing Wars there. Looks like Notel's going to be fine. NLG won't quite be able to close the gap. 
Yeah, we're seeing very similar problems in this NLG draft as last game is they really lack an initiator. Like for example, OG, once they finish the blink dagger on Slaughter, he could, you know, start going and making plays. Who, who's your playmaker here on NLG? A blink Rubik, I guess? But it's just very squishy. No tail. Okay, he's oh. dead. Oh. That's one way of doing it. They'll get the Winter's Curse off, though, and Mitch will go down. Maybe OG can turn, even without the Juggernaut. They found themselves a double kill for Miracle. They want to try and move in for more. Light Strike's not going to catch anyone. So it's a two for one. And it is indeed going to be this Rod of Atos as he picks up the two Staff of Wizardries here on Lena. I mean, I guess his logic is, you have such squishy heroes, if you just ding on the Rod of Atos on the AA, for example, yeah. what is he going to do? Like, you're just stuck there. With that said, though, I do believe Ancient Apparition is not going for the standard Midas build. He's going to go for a Force Staff, I imagine. Or Yules himself, maybe? I, I think Force Staff, now that you see the Atos on the Lena, okay. Force Staff would help your allies. Uh, of course, there's also Crush that you got to help your allies with. So I personally like Force Staff much more, but I mean, the item build this game has been absolutely not standard. So I guess anything could happen. And let's see if the side of energy can make something happen. It smoked up from the base. Let's see they make a beeline towards Moons revealed himself in the mid lane, just pushing it out. 1200 gold towards that bling. Let's see if they get him in, and no. Moons in trouble. Oh, he's so fast. But here comes a sprint. Sprints. Rubik. Oh, I thought he was going to make a play with it. Top tower is under attack. Lean up. Milan, Milan, live strikes there, Dragon Slave comes through, Milan will go down, they get the chain thrust out, but it doesn't bounce. Fade Bolt bringing Miracle in, there's the Wreck Rimmer coming in, chipping onto Miracle, but there's your Omni Slash, Blade Fury as well. No tell, trying to see if he can turn, but they've lost the Lina. This is looking a bit of a risky fight for OG, Moon gets slowed, they'll steal the Amplify here. And the rest of OG grouped up. Can they try and fight into this once again? They'll be doing it without one of their key cores. Yeah, they gotta back off. Yeah. So, I think we're starting to see the full effect of Lich. If you look at the Juggernaut's level, he's level 8. We're 15 minutes in. Oh. Look over to the Ember Spirit, level 10. Look over to the Shadow Fiend, he's level, level 12. 12. So, it surprised me greatly that it was a level 1 Omni Slash. If they had a level 2 Omni Slash, it might have gotten an extra kill. Spartan walks straight into this one, though. They'll focus in the Ice Blast. It's maybe all just a bait, and it does. It connects onto Flying, connects onto No Tail. No Tail for Ant Moon, in fact, all backing up. Can energy follow this one? Excalibur's trying to chase, but OG, they might just want to go back in. Yeah, no they'll back off. Spartan pinging out that there's, uh, there's a ward there, and it'll be correct to assume that. Yeah, I think NLG's still in a very decent position, considering that No-Tail, for a second game in a row, having a very, very tough early to mid-game transition. Uh, Mirko doing a lot better now, having a, a couple of items here to show for. So I, I think they're looking to have this Lina more as a kind of damage farming core, not as a pickoff hero, like how Excalibur played it last game. Again, this this Rod of Atos is just somewhat mind-boggling. No. It's not that the Atos is bad, it's no, no, no. the Yules is better in my opinion, but we'll see how it goes. And then LG, just making use every time the smokes are available. Into the jungle, who can they catch out here? They look to no tail. There's gonna be Fly, the one that they go for first. He gets the Shallow Grave off in time and does manage to drop the weave. Ice Blast flying across the fight, they'll remnant forward and they'll trap no tail. The Ice Blast pass over Woods there and they'll get the kill onto Jug at the same time. Dazzle falls off to the east and now they look for more. Oh gee, they need to get themselves out of it. Eleven flying away, the Red Boot coming through. Miracle's trying to get the kill onto Spartan and he will. Takes out the Rubik, but the remnant fall from Madara. The chains just on the max edge of the cast range gets two. Winter's Curse gets laid down. No matter, he's going to want to try and chase for more here. Looking for the TP out. Chase. Have they got the chase. cancel? Oh! He missed. He did miss. Yep. He did miss indeed. Ah, you, you miss out on a support kill. You, you got the key one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting three kills there and just losing the Rubik. Another very big cherry there for the side of NLG. All right, the only silver lining for OG is that Moon's got its blink. And that's kind of how MO, or NLG uh, started to struggle. A bit. They've made a couple of mistakes. I have to say NLG to me is further ahead this game than they were last game. The gold graph, it's only a zero right now, but it feels like the way that this game is going, NLG a lot more comfortable. They have better late game hero. Ember Spirit is gonna have to, I mean, how, how do they deal with this Ember Spirit? Unless you get a blink crush on, you're not getting a kill on him. Double damage empowers mm. me. <laughs> it's the uh, matter is having a good time. The fact that he's got the bots, he's able to get himself around the map. He's still a fair bit behind in terms of farm, but he's ahead in the no-tail jug. Yeah. 
And he's going to be, you know, have, have a greater global presence, really, than the Juggernaut. He's going to be involved in a lot more of the fights as well, if he plays it correctly. Which I'm sure he will matter, has shown us he's a, he is a pretty decent carry. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, the last couple of games, uh, seeing Madara's uh, Slark in particular, yeah. has really impressed me. Bottom lane, Miracle. I don't think they could actually go for a kill. The nice thing about the Rod of Atos build is that you are very, very tanky. And here's your blink. Crush comes in onto Spartan. Miracle's moving forward as well. The, the, yeah, Ember Spirit's gonna bail. They'll just leave Spartan to tank this one, and he certainly will. They'll take the Rubik kill. <laughs> At the same time... Oh, Mech's gonna be picked up. Over on the side of energy, I believe it was the Lich. Yeah, Mitch has now got that one rolling. They've got a Mech, and he's got level 11 here as well. Talking about level 11, did No-Tail catch up in terms of the XP? Is he sitting? Still, no, only still level, level 10. 10. Okay. Um, he could actually farm much quicker and get experience if he's not just jungling constantly. I think he's kind of sacrificing his own farm uh, for his teammates. Oh, Ember. They do have a Winter's Curse, so they want to try and hold him in place a turn, but it's going to be hard. I think they realize just with a level 1 Omni Slash, it's not enough. Yep. And Shadow Blade now is going to be the option for Miracle. All right. A lot of right-click damage. He's hitting for like 150 right now. And in terms of kind of setup, we talked about the Yules. In a bit of a different way, obviously, Shadow Blade offers you the opportunity to catch people out and look to land the Light Strike Array on an unsuspecting opponent. Yeah, yeah. maybe this is uh, his response against yeah. Ember, because the Yules into LSA combo would not work against any good Ember player. So he's just taking a different route. Let's see if it's going to pay out here. Things down to the Roshan. NLG was starting to look to go for it, but... NLG, do they have detection? I don't think they can make this Roche play. Obviously, they don't know about the, the Miracle Shadow play yet. So I think, yeah. OG, they're very ready to fight this. This could be big for OG. The weave comes out. Starts to tick yep. down on Excalibur's armor. Sentry's Excalibur coming looking for a very early Requiem, but he cancels it. Holds on to it. OG. They need to get vision now. Yeah. All right, we sentries. We'll spot out the Lina. And that'll get T-Wall straight away, but now it's going to be an OG jumping forward. The Ice Blast straight out to Miracle. Shallow Graves there. The Winter's Curse is good. Holding them in place. Omni says to follow through as well. Excalibur creeping below, but he's still alive. He's not going to go what? down. They'll lose no tail on the Juggernaut. Now you chain Frost Biology between Fly and Crit. The bounces are glorious for the side of NLG. They'll get Fly. Double kill for Mitch. Miracle gets blown up as well. Only Slardar and Wyvern escaping. They did manage to kill Shadow Fiend, but NLG will now walk into the pit and they'll look to take Roshan themselves. Yeah, I think... I'm not exactly sure why Shadow Fiend started hitting the dragons. I think he wanted to deny himself to get... so that nobody got the Beyond Godlike Shriek. Except a random Splinter Blast caught him. So Wyvern, the big winner for his team in that fight, but obviously NLG came off huge. Yeah. He, he did have the helm on the, uh, the SF, so maybe he was just trying to lifesteal up a bit before going back in. Yeah. But yeah, Roshan. It's going to be a slow one. Unless Moon looks for a flashy play, oh, which he might. Like. Three man crush, but Moon. No, oh, dude. Ain't flashy. The dream wasn't real there. And NLG will stick about. They'll take it. And they might now, lose more here. Yeah, they're going to jump forward. Looking for 11, but he's got the Glimmer Cape. They're going to find Fly there with the chains. And now Fly in a lot of trouble. He has a Shallow Grave, but TP's still on court, and he doesn't even get a chance to get the Shallow Grave out. NLG finding kill after kill here. And off the back of an unsuccessful Roche attempt from OG, this really is NLG breaking themselves back ahead of the pack. Oh, crit. Looks like he's going to TP out. Key item pickups are coming up soon. Spartan, close to his Blink Dagger. Ancient Apparition did actually go back for the uh, Aghanim spell. He's going to pick up a second piece momentarily. Mid lane, though, looks like we are going to see a kill attempt. Is Miracle going to go for it here? It's a bit risky with the two of them. Yeah, he's not going to try it. Yeah, Shadow Fiend also has 20 armor, so... I don't think, uh, don't think it's going to work out here. Oh, Ice Blast, Fate Pulse, trade onto No Tail. Uh, as you said earlier, these Ice Blasts have been on point time after time here. Radiant's bottom tower is under so attack. since this Miracle pick up on the Shadow Blade, he has not found a single kill. And to me, this uh, item decreases in value as the game goes on, as detection is uh, more available on, on the front side of NLG. Yeah, you've got a Blink Dagger on Rubik now, as you, as you were saying earlier, he's getting yeah. progress then towards that. I'm still somewhat surprised that Milan has gone for the X instead of the... Uh... Oh, fly. Oh, fly. Oh, the chains are luckily 
Don't latch on to fly himself. Moon. Oh, isn't going to be able to find the blink crush. Messes that one up, unfortunately, for the side of OG. Yeah, NLG very comfortable taking this game much later. They have, to me, the better late game carry in the form of Ember and Shadowfiend. The team fights are excellent. And they just picked up a gem on the AA, so looks like the point booster was, at least for now, just the, the value HP point booster. Looking to get more map control. To me, right now, NLG is playing more like the experienced team. They're making less mistakes. They know what they need to do. Yeah, they're playing it very nice. And, and of course, this is something that we just see elements of them showing in game one. It just, of course, got to the point where yeah. late game, OG were just a little bit more conservative with the fights that they took to, you know, chose to fight. And it did, of course, secure them the win. But they've got a fair way to go this game, no tail. He's still got a fair bit of catching up, really, to do to get on the same par as, as the Ember Spray and the Shadow Fiend. Yeah. This is why I really want NLG to actually make it to Dreamhack Winter. Obviously, they are fighting for a spot against Team Empire, if they could win. Oh, oh. matter. Yep. He's got the Aegis. I, they cannot go for a second time. They, they, they recognize that, yeah, they're only getting the kill with the Laguna Blade. And they might get a kill onto 11 air though. He's not going to get the chains. The Glimmer Cape out is there. We have lost the Aegis, yeah. but NLG, that's not going to sl slow them down at all. They'll take the tier one on the top. top How did they get the jump on him? Was it a Shadow Blade into LSA? Uh, I believe it was the Shadow Blade setup, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mid lane. Now Tell's got to get himself out. And he's in a lot of trouble here, I feel, especially with Excalibur and Mist turning Oh, he's going to try to ult his way out of here. There's Old a hands. lot of armor. And no oh, he's tail. All right. Get, all right. All lives must end. That's a good pick off here for uh, Spartan. Yeah, Battle Fury now done on the Ember Spirit. I mean, NLG are looking in a fairly strong position at the moment. Another look to try and move forward on the mid. There's a gem on Spartan. And Omni Spar Slash? Oh, yep. look at this Rubik. Very pretty play. Shallow Grave is there. Can they find the kill the ice? But oh, the Chain Frost, in fact. And it will bounce. In. And the bounce is there with the Ice Blast to follow for as well. They're shoving Scalabra forward. And play after play being made there by NLG in the mid lane. And hang on, Rubik's got a bloody Laguna Blade. Yep, that's pretty. I'll take that out for a day. Spartan. It's just... So nice to see NLG playing like this. Yeah. I'm rooting for these boys. Come on, Lumi, let's not be biased. All right, my yeah. bad. <laughs> You'll have a Reddit, Fred, mate. <laughs> That's uh, so 2012 being uh, biased towards Navi or Cloud9 or whatever. Navi, who are they? No, that's uh, that's Toby. Oh, okay. Have you not seen the Twitch account? Uh, Navi loses Toby cries. Toby cries. That's such a good did. account. Yeah, I made it, Lumi. All right. Good call, good call. <laughs> NLG. Now, this is where they falter last game. Let's yes. see if they could break high ground here. Ice Blast again onto 11. Moon jumps in with the crush, but there's so much armor on this man. And there's your telekinesis bringing Moon back in. It's Galadriel with the right clicks. They'll take down Moon on the Slada. They're trying to move No Tail in with the Blade Fury, but it just doesn't matter. They get the slow for the Requiem. And now No Tail could be in a lot of trouble. And he is. The burst is there. They'll bring down another. There's a buyback on Moon. He's trying to do what he can to rectify this fight for OG. The base diving. Get out. Don't do this. Miracle. Not like this. He reveals himself. Matter is there. They'll get the Laguna Blade onto the spot. But look at the damage for Excalibur. Miracle's got to get back. Moon throws down the crush. The armor from the weave is ticking them down here. They'll try and move forward. The slide comes out. If they could get mad on the well. deck. Okie dokie. Oh. And as you said, Lumi, this was the point of the game in game one where NLG started to falter. And it may just be happening here again. 1800 gold difference. A pretty nice one here. With that said, though, Moon had to buy back for that fight. And uh, Juggernaut did also die. So it ain't all, you know, peachy here on the side of OG. But no. at least they hold their base. Actually, getting the gem here from uh, from the side of NLG, that's that's like 1800 gold or 1600 gold on top of that. So it's yeah, it was a very it was it was a good defense for OG, definitely. Though a miracle, I don't think you can find this one. Here. Maybe with 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 Mooney can with Mooney can and there's the Atos to set it up. They're gonna play Moon. Oh yeah, the they'll fight it. Excalibur, he's got a lot of armor, not enough. They'll get the kill, and that's going to be a BKB done now, Miracle as well. Is he playing Lina or like... I don't know why hero would go for this item build. He is... <laughs> something mean, else. It's working out. Yeah. It is working out. 15 kills, 6 deaths and 3 assists. 
He's having a game, and there's just turning around. Not as major as it was in game one. NLG never really got the... Okay, and XP is a little bit more extravagant. But OG, capitalizing on the mistakes that NLG make, just like they did in game one, and using it to their strength to show them that they can make the superior decisions at this point, but there is always the worry of this Ember Spirit and still Steve's Shadow Team. He did get caught out there, out of position on the top when Miracle and Moon came in as Steve started to move between the Tier 3s outside of the base. But it's still a very close game, 28 minutes in. I wonder if Miracle... Okay, he's going to go for a uh, the Aghanim Scepter now. Could be Bloodstone, though. The matter. Oh, he's, yeah, he's going to TP out straight away. He's got the Blink Dagger to uh, yeah. make some plays. So um, what do you think about the Miracle? Is it going to be Ags or is it going to oh, be uh, Bloodstone? Uh, what's he picked up at the moment, sir? He's got a point booster. He's got a point booster. I thought he was actually going to go for, since he's got such a right-click base build, that he was going to go for, like, a MKB. Oh, this sentry could be big. Oh. This is a big sentry. They surprise. found Miracle, and indeed. Not the kind of surprise that Miracle likes. Who really likes surprises, anyways? Oh, Lumi. Do you, have a, do you have a surprise waiting for me? <laughs> and I just shut you down preemptively. Yeah, well, that's tonight's plan, Ruin. All right. All right. Mid lane. OG. They're not happy that Miracle's dead. Are they going to be able to do anything off the back of this? They're just going to hang in, get some wards out. Maybe play a bit of a waiting game, see if anyone on the side of NLG walks up to them. And hello, Madder. It would be a tasty kill right. for them. Jumps in with the crush. Have they got the good? Oh! <laughs> Oh, yes, they fly. have. That heal bomb, though. Yeah. Middle yeah. Tower is under Mid lane, though. Are they actually trying to push without their Down Ember Spirit? The I mean, why not? Look at the power here. They're bringing the tier three low. Radiance top tower is under attack. Oh, gee, can they punish this? And it doesn't look like they can. This time, NLG, oh, they'll play it safer. They just get the damage in and they back themselves off. They don't want to stick around too long. You know, has Juggernaut picked up an item for like the past five, seven minutes? I don't think he has. I think he's just been saving up the 2.2k, hasn't he? Yeah. I imagine it's going to be, what, the, the Scardi next for no -tell? Yeah, I think I think you need the yeah. Scardi. Um, also, MKB might be a consideration because uh, the Butterfly is already out in Shadow Fiend. Okay. Actually, yeah, MKB true. might make more sense here. Okay. I also thought the Lena was going to go MKB, but it looks like she's going to go for a little bit more magic base build. Here comes OG. OG with the smoke. Yo, if they, if they get a... A big fight here going their favor. Roshan is spawning in about a minute, so they could turn the game right here. Okay, Moon. Oh, they know. In, gets the crush onto Spartan. The follow ups there with the Omni Slash. Spartan's out of the fight. Now the Winter's Curse onto Midge. Don't tell me before the Blade Fury. Excalibur does get off the Requiem here, trying to tell, but he's already lost two. Now with the Dragon Slave, Melan gonna go. They've got the crush. Because they've got the control. Madara. Madara gets the slight off. He ran us off to the sidelines. They've lost three on MLG. They might miss Madara as well. And they do. He's trying his best. It's not good enough. Four dead on the side of MLG. As you said, Lumi, that smoke pretty key for OG to really reassert their dominance in this game and as you can see by the gold swing and xp it was certainly successful yeah they could go for the roshan but it seems like og wants to do a little bit of tier 3 base damage here in theory they could get the racks but the respawn times are of nlg are quite low and they are responding with all of their ultimates available buyback immediately being used here by milan ice blast is uh gonna prepped up on the mid lane i imagine yeah, but no buyback available for matter and this is kind of the hero they need at this point with the slight with the Battle Fury. BKB is now done on Moon. And they'll find the tier three. Now, if they stick around for more, how careful are OG going to play? And it's going to be pretty careful. They're just going to back off and go for Roshan. Go for the safer play here. There is a ward on this. Oh, okay, not anymore. Ice Blast. We'll fly for onto the pit. Aye. They know. Yeah, very suavely done. And here we have it, Roshan falling. Can NLG get themselves here fast enough? They actually might be able to. Oh, they got a slaughter. Yep. Oh, this could be it. Moon, no, he jumps straight in, gets Milan, and OG have taken Roche. They get the Aegis picked up by the Juggernaut. Moon finds the solo kill on the AA. He's moving in for more. They'll be the blink out for Spartan. Now they've got the Slime Matter. Can he get the control? And Matter is going to be able to remnant himself out of this. So it's just AA down at the moment. The rest of the side of NLG backing themselves off. And that, of course, was effectively a dieback on the AA. So no Ice Blast here for 40 seconds. 
a very nice window of opportunity for OG to try and push up and, and try and take a set of racks at yeah, least. Yeah, we need frost armor on those uh, Raxes too. Oh, Miracle just oh. in the base right now. Gold number, AFK. <laughs> Okie dokie, now he wakes up, but it's a little bit too late, he dies. He's gonna have to buy back. And now there's the telekinesis onto Moon. They bring Moon back in, he's dead for 80. So NLG holding the fort. Has cost them a buyback on their Shadow Fiend. Atos holding matter about, but he still gets some of the slight in the chains. Fly's gonna go down, they'll get the rest of the team out. TP away from the Wyvern. Miracle's off to the retreat and so's Jug as well. So NLG do defend, but it... Excalibur has to expend the buyback for that one. Yeah, and suddenly the, the gap between the Juggernaut and the Shadow Fiend has essentially evaporated after that fight. So Juggernaut is going to be going for the MKB. Now a Blink Dagger coming out from Crit. So this Wyvern has been hitting some amazing ultimates. We're going to see more of that. And LG just really losing grasp of this game. It ain't looking too good. It's, I mean, with defenses like that, they've still definitely got a chance. Yeah. Mitch is uh, going for a kind of a YOLO item play. What's He's uh, picking up, I imagine, to be the Lotus Orb. Lotus Orb against uh, Omni Slash. Pretty nice. Of course, uh, we'll remove the amp damage. You can reflect back a Winter's Curse, as well as the Laguna Blade, so. Uh, it's gonna be nice, yeah, just to pop on Steve so he can front line here. Yeah. Especially seeing as that Laguna Blade it is gonna be an Agonim's upgraded one. Miracle yep. picks that up now as his, his next item. His ability. And then LG, what's the plan? Do they have a smoke kid? Nope. Alright, so I know I'm beating it on a dead horse a bit. Wait, wait, I just want to look at Milan, right? Power. He's sitting on that point attack. booster for like 20 minutes now. If he'd gone for the force F, would have had the force F finished and would have been a lot more impactful for the team. I mean, the ice blast is going to be good when he gets it. But yeah, he's, yeah the, the buyback did cost him a lot. Yeah. It cost Obviously, him a lot. he didn't know that he needed a buyback and stuff like that, but yeah. He, he's playing the five for the team. He's been buying the wards. He's been buying the gems. Like you said, he's been buying back. So it's a, it's definitely a very greedy build. And LG though still, I mean, their, their heroes hit pretty hard. Madara a little bit worrisome on the survival side. He's been getting a focus quite heavily. And now you can see just by, based on the hero movement of NLG, they're afraid. OG's the one that's, you know, dictating where the, where the fights are happening. They're the one that's looking to, to make the next gank. Oh, they certainly are. OG, what's the next bit of play going to be? Here it is. Blazing it up from the Radiant Jungle. Was seen, though. Was not the most private blaze. Observer order from the Dire side. Okay, they might... I mean, it depends how aggressive they want to go. <laughs> As you said, it's going to need to be aggression that would take them into the high ground. I mean, just revealing himself mid. NLG, unlikely to fall for this one. There's so many sentry available on Algia for the mid lane. They're, they're expecting to the, the sneak up the ramp. Oh, that's no tail doing right now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh. Oh, just blade through him back here. OG. Are they ready to go? Oh, Telekinesis, but Moon's there with the jump. Gets the crush out. The Chain Frost comes out, bounces onto the Siege Driven Outback. The Winter's Curse holding his Calibre in place. Will he go down? Yes, they've got the damage. That's the Shadow Fiend down, no buyback. They'll lose the Aegis on Jug. Miracle trying to do what he can here against Madara, and Madara will Remnant out of the fight. Moon bags off. And now Miracle moving in for more. Light Strike connects onto Mitch with the right clicks as well. He'll find the Lich kill. Three dead at the moment on the side of NLG. Madara trying to man fight, but Miracle he's got a hell of a oh lot of armor thanks to this weave. And there's your of Atos. It doesn't quite allow to set up the Light Strike. Careers. Matter of Jukes it out with the Remnant. Oh. But now you crush from Moon. Blinks in. He'll find the Amber Spirit with double kill going to Miracle. And now NLG all dead. And OG will just look to close up the game. And, and I think they might just have it here, Lumi. So close. It was, again, very close. Yes, yeah, so far away. I mean, I, I, we, we, we keep saying it. But I think you've got to be impressed if you're, if you're watching NLG that they're able to put this much of a fight up. But it just wasn't good enough at the end of the day. And OG. Well, well I mean, it's not over. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of over. It's, <laughs> yeah, they're maybe if the right. Ember can get a Divine Rapier. No. No. Okay. <laughs> but what a game nonetheless. What a game and what a series. I think a lot of people who may not have seen much of NLG beforehand after watching this and going, these guys are pretty deep. They've got a lot of potential. I think just with a little bit more refinement, they can do it. And there we go.
music's back. Um, I was, I was, I know I was questioning the uh, Rada Vatos build out of the Lina. It oh, really yeah. made sense towards the end. Yeah. Um, we talked about how Yules you cannot combo into the Ember because Ember could always slide a fist. Also, Yules against Shadow Fiend. If Shadow Fiend goes for a BKB, when yeah. you send him up, he'll just BKB on his way down, That's and true. you, ne you never true. combo him. But the Atos build uh, gave you a little bit more oomph. Some right clicks. I did. And uh, Miracle had a great game. He <laughs> 19 did. kills on his Lina. Certainly showing us uh, how, you know, what, how good you are when you're 8k. All right, so we saw some two good games out of uh, NLG. Yeah, we did. W what are the chances uh, against NIP, you think? Um, I think they could do it. If they can play this well against they OG... Need to two -oh. They need to 2-0. -oh. They need to 2-0. They need to 2-0. I think they've got potential. All right. If they play as well as they have done against OG... Now, NIP have been looking a bit rocky recently. We may see NLG manage to take at least the two games that they need to get themselves through to DreamHack Winter. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the second series of the day. It's myself and Lumi signing off. Straight back to the panel. Lumi, get I your backside over there. All get right. yourself Let's over, go. Lumi. Bumper.